Greetings, Crawford Ashley here, the spiritual boxer, and I'm talking about boxing as I always do. Story time again. And like I say a little bit about mind games and what's going on now. And what I find kind of fascinating with these social media stars, Fury and that, Jake Paul. And J. Paul was supposed to, if he'd have lost, they'd have given a hundred grand or something. And if Paul had have won, Fury just had to change his name. And that just reminded me of a, a time when I was supposed to be fighting Mark Prince, to, um, defending my title. And I was in the gym in London training, Henry Cooper, great gym. And I'd just finished training, I was in the um, changing rooms and in walks Mark Prince with an entourage. And Bob walks in and asks me if I'm all right. He says, Mark Prince, I said, no, I'm not Bob. Get off, get gone. You know what I mean, I'm just getting ready. Mark walked into the changing room, saw me, he says, am I all right? I said, yeah, I'm all right, are you? He says, yeah, he left. And about, Two or three minutes afterwards, his trainer comes in and goes, Crawford, why do you give up the title? There's no money in it it's for you and Mark. And I just looked at him and says, I don't box for money. I said, tell Mark, if he beats me, he can have my purse. And when I win, he can keep his. I said, I don't say I'm the best. I want to prove I'm the best. And his trainer walked out and the fight never happened. And I think that's down to the fact that he realised I wasn't in it for the money. I was in it to see how good I was. So Mark was going to get a fight. And I think that's what it is with most people. They're looking for the payday, they're not looking to see how good they are, to test themselves against the best. I was listening to this debate about AJ taking step aside money. Well, for me, it's, um, <laughs> it's a no, no. But then again, when I start thinking about it in different terms of, as a fan, AJ has been beat by Usyk. I'd like to see AJ and Tyson, not AJ, uh, Usyk and Tyson fight now. You know, two unbeaten heavyweight champions go in at it, but if he's got the contract, take it, but the fans lose out, the fans lose out, if AJ takes step aside money, I think he'll lose some in himself, or maybe he's not that bothered, and it is about the money, see I find that, Like I say, for me, I find that hard. But maybe that's because I got no money. You know, I, don't, I didn't do things for the money. I never did things for the money. And that's why I think I got ripped off. You know, I do things for the love of it and to see how good I am. But it's like, it's interesting with what's going on now, it's like boxing, the direction boxing has gone. It's more celebrity, media based. It's like back in the days when you looked at the top stars, the Leonards, the Aglers, the Earns, they didn't really call the publicity. They just wanted to get on with the training and do the work in the gym. You know? and carried themselves well. Which I enjoyed. Anyway, I was um, at the gym yesterday and I was doing some training with Declan and Theo and we had a really good session and I had it recorded or I thought I had it recorded and I don't know, some outside the matter with the camera, the battery 
or the memory card. And then when I tried to put it on, it just wouldn't work. But we was working on shortening the punches. Like most people who've seen the videos, I'm a lot about movement. You know, I've been on the back foot, using the feet as a defense. And now I'm getting them to settle down on the feet, shortening the punches and fighting more on the inside going to the body shortening down the punches but still generating the power and still being able to move while they're doing it you know you plant your feet but you can still move with your feet planted it's like a connection to the floor when you're dancing there's there's no sometimes there's no connection between you and the floor it's you're just kind of floating but then when you're settling down you're always in contact with the floor so you can always generate a lot of power through your punches because you've always got that connection to the power source and i was showing them little how to just turn the hip and get the twist and like i was saying before there's so many different aspects and uh what do you call them facets to boxing it's not just the technique it's a lot to do with the physical and the mental abilities and things like I was talking to Theo as going down to the car when I'm in the car talk going down to the gym my voice is going funny man. when we're going down to the gym we're always discussing about the mental side of it and we talk about fights and fighters and like I say when he's watching these fighters, especially the good ones, how would you beat them? Work it out, how would you beat them? You know, you can come down to their size and you're just boxing them. It's a, um, it's a style, it's a technique, it's a puzzle and you've got to solve it and you've got 36 minutes. That's what I always work, I always work so 36 minutes because that's the pinnacle of what you want to be at you know 12 three minute rounds and that's where you need to be a hundred percent focused on what you're doing and to have 100 percent focus for 36 minutes takes a lot of work and it's very very tiring and i don't think um Many people understand that. I don't even think many boxers understand that either. That's why they're tired when they're in the ring. Like I was saying, you got to train tired because that's when you're in the ring, you are tired, man. And you can't, another one, don't keep looking at the clock. I see a lot of kids in the gym, look at the clock, look at the clock, look at the clock build the clock inside your head and start working the last 30 seconds 20 seconds of the round start working that i learned that when i was in um holland sparring with alex blanchard we don't do anything for the first minute of the round then we work the last two minutes which is good it's another way of nicking time it's all professionals you know, it's that experience. Do the eye catching work towards the back end of the round, put it into the judges' minds. Anyway, that's it for today. And if I don't have any technical problems, I'll be putting some up tomorrow, I hope. Like I say. And I think at the end of this week that might be it for a couple of weeks. I don't know yet. We'll see. Anyway, if you can't be yourselves, just be brilliant. Until tomorrow. Bye.